Hi all. Welcome back to DevOps Camp. In today's video, we're going to learn how to connect to a Linux machine remotely using SSH and public key authentication. SSH, or Secure Shell, is a powerful tool that allows us to securely access and manage remote machines. Public key authentication adds an extra layer of security to the process. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. To begin, we need two machines. Our first machine will be the client machine, from which we want to connect remotely. The second machine will be the Linux server we want to connect to. Make sure both machines have SSH installed and running. Let's start on the client machine. First, we need to generate a pair of RSA keys, which includes a private key and a public key. Private key will stay in the client machine, and it should never be exposed to anyone else. Public key is derived from the private key and it can be shared on remote servers, which we want to access from the client machine. To generate a pair of RSA keys, open up the terminal in the client machine. As I have installed Mobisterm, as my SSH client in previous videos, I will open it and start a new terminal. In Windows, default CMD is not recommended as some of the SSH modules such as, SSH copy ID, don't come with it. In the terminal run the command, ssh-keygen-t rsa you'll be prompted to provide a file name and an optional passphrase for your keys feel free to choose the default options or customize them to your preference i will keep the default settings and press enter once the keys are generated we need to copy the public key to the linux server we can achieve this using a command without manually copying the key before that we need to know the ip address of the remote machine Go to the remote machine and open up a terminal. Then run the command ifconfig. Here take a note of the IP address. Now to copy the public key, open Mobisterm terminal. In the terminal, run the command ssh dash copy dash id username at server IP address. Enter the above command in your terminal, replacing username and server address with your actual credentials. You'll be prompted to enter the password for the server. Once you've entered the password, the public key will be copied to the appropriate location on the server. Basically, it copies the SSH key into the remote host's authorized underscore keys file, which is by default in the slash home slash dot SSH directory. Now that we have our public key on the server, let's test the connection. Enter the following command, SSH, username, at, server IP address, and press enter. If everything went well, you should be logged into the server without being prompted for a password. Congratulations! You have successfully connected to the Linux machine remotely using public key authentication. Before we wrap up, I want to show you a couple of additional tips. If you'd like to enhance the security further, you can disable password authentication on the server, forcing users to authenticate using only their private keys. To disable password authentication, open the SSH server configuration file on your Linux server. Typically, it's located at slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. To edit that file we need root permission. So, either you can run the command using the word sudo at the beginning of the command, or switch to the root user. I will switch to the root user by running the command, sudo, s, u. Now, to open the file, run the command, vi, slash etc, slash ssh, slash sshd underscore config. In here vi is the text editor that we will be using. You can use any other text editor like nano or vim. In the file, look for the line that says password authentication. Now, enter the insert mode in the text editor by pressing the letter I in the keyboard. Then uncomment that line and change its value to no.
then you are done. To save the file changes, first press escape key in your keyboard to enter into the command mode in the VI text editor and then input colon W Q exclamation symbol and press enter. Then we need to restart SSHD service of the server machine to apply changes. For that, run the command system CTL restart SSHD. Now, only client machines with the public key in the server or the remote machine will be able to access the server via SSH. Now you know how to connect to a Linux machine remotely using SSH and public key authentication. This method provides a secure and convenient way to access your servers without the need for passwords. That concludes this tutorial. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon, and share with your colleagues. Thank you. Have a nice day.